So good evening, everyone, and welcome back once again to another session of PIB 247, where we are going to discuss some more questions from the PIB news, which are relevant for all the government exams. All right. So let's begin with the session without any delay, and let's move ahead to the question number one. Consider the following statements with respect to museum grant scheme, and you have to identify the correct statements. ठीक है museum grant scheme के बारे में आपको correct statement बताना है. But first of all, the question is whether this scheme is a new scheme or it is already under implementation. So let me tell you, it is already under implementation. It is not a new scheme. It is being implemented by Ministry of Culture. Ministry of Culture since the year 2013. 2013 से ही implementation में है. So there must be some news regarding this. So what is that news? Remember, Ministry of Culture has granted rupees 3.75 crore under this particular mission or scheme for a project in Eluru town of Andhra Pradesh. This is not that important for us. This news news is not important for us. What important for us is this scheme that is the museum grant scheme. And please remember, we do not have to go into the too much details of this scheme. Zyada detail mein jane ki iske zorat nahi hai. Jitna news mein tha, hum sir utna hi discuss karenge. Alright. So let's talk about the scheme. So as the name suggests, museum grant, which means the government of India through Ministry of Culture is providing financial assistance for development of new museums or upgradation and upgradation of new uh, already existing museums. Thik hai? Jo pehle se existing museums hai, unka upgradation or nai museums banane ke liye, the government of India through Ministry of Culture is providing the financial assistance. It is being implemented by Ministry of Culture since the year 2013 as I already told you. And Ministry of Culture provides this financial assistance to various stakeholders like state governments and societies, autonomous bodies, local bodies, trust which are registered under the Society Registration Act of 1860 and other stakeholders which are working towards developing the museums or upgrading them. All right. And there are three components under this scheme. Number one, establishment and development of district and regional museum. For that, maximum 10 crore rupees is provided by the Ministry of Culture. Then we have another component that is development of museum in state capitals. So for development of museum in state capitals, maximum up to rupees 15 crore is provided. And finally, the third component is establishment and development of large scale museums in partnership with uh, private uh, players. And in that, in this component, maximum rupees 20 crore is provided. All right. And of course, G. Kishan Reddy. G. Kishan Reddy is the Minister of Culture and Tourism of the country. And he is also the Minister of uh, Development of Northeastern Region. All right. So that's it. Itna hi padna, isse zada padne ki zarad nahi hai. And now, let's come back to the question then. You have to identify the correct statement. It was launched in 2014. No, it was launched in 2013, not 14. It is being implemented by Ministry of Culture. This is absolutely correct. And for development of museums in state capitals, maximum 15 crore financial assistance is provided by the Ministry of Culture. So this statement is also absolutely correct, which means option B, only two and three will be the correct answer. I hope guys, this question is clear and there is a huge chance that this question will come because it recently in news, so this question will come RBI exam. Mein aa sakta hai. Okay. Moving ahead to question number two. How much maximum subsidy is provided to SCST, small and marginal farmers and women of northeastern states to buy drones by the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare? Now, who is the minister by the way? N.S. Tomer, Narendra Singh Tomer. Okay. So, how much maximum subsidy is provided to these beneficiaries, SC, SCST, marginal and small farmers and women if they want to buy drones? Okay. So first of all, why we are discussing this, why it is in news because Ministry of Culture and Farmers Welfare has organized a conference on promoting Krishan drones issue challenges and the way ahead. So this conference has been organized by Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. Just remember this. And other than this, about this conference, we don't need to do anything. But in this conference, the Minister, the Minister of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, he has told that what? Steps have been taken by the ministry for promotion of uh, drone use. Okay, so this is the news. Mein hai. So first of all, 50% or maximum rupees 5 lakh subsidy is provided to SCST small and marginal farmers uh, and women farmers if they want to buy the drones. Okay, and this is provided by the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, of course. 
वेल इन केस ऑफ अदर फार्मर्स जो कि इन तीनों में से किसी कैटेगरी में नहीं आते दो फार्मर्स हु डू नॉट फॉल इनटू दीज कैटेगरीज फॉर देम अप टू 40% और मैक्सिमम रुपीस 4 लाख सब्सिडी इज प्रोवाइडेड इफ दे वांट टू बाय द ड्रोन्स ठीक है एंड दिस इज ओनली फॉर द एग्रीकल्चरल पर्पस राइट दिस इज ओनली फॉर द एग्रीकल्चरल पर्पस नॉट फॉर अदर एनी पर्पस देन फाइनेंशियल असिस्टेंस एट 100% कॉस्ट ऑफ ड्रोन्स ठीक है 100% कॉस्ट ऑफ ड्रोन की फाइनेंशियल असिस्टेंस प्रोवाइड होती है बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड फार्मर्स वेलफेयर अंडर सब मिशन ऑन एग्रीकल्चरल मैकेनाइजेशन ठीक है देर इज अब मिशन ऑन एग्रीकल्चरल मैकेनाइजेशन उसके अंडर 100 परसेंट कॉस्ट ऑफ ड्रोन प्रोवाइड कराया जाता है इज प्रोवाइडेड बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर इन फार्मर्स वेलफेयर नाउ दिस हंड्रेड परसेंट सब्सिडी और यू कैन से हंड्रेड परसेंट फाइनेंशियल असिस्टेंस इज प्रोवाइडेड टू होम ये किसको मिल रहा है सो दिस असिस्टेंस इज प्रोवाइडेड टू द फार्म मशीनरी ट्रेनिंग एंड टेस्टिंग इंस्टीट्यूट वेरियस इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ आई सी ए आर कृषि विज्ञान केंद्र एंड स्टेट एग्रीकल्चरल यूनिवर्सिटीज Now, what is the objective? Why they are giving them a cost of drone hundred percent? Because they are doing demonstration on the farmer's field. Okay, so for the purpose of demonstration on the farmer's field, if any of these institutions want to buy the drones, then hundred percent cost will be provided under the sub mission on agriculture or farm mechanization. Okay, now. And finally, the agriculture graduates establishing customer hiring centers. are eligible to receive financial assistance at 50% of the cost of the drone or maximum rupees 5 lakh okay now what is this custom hiring centers by the way so remember these are the centers where farm equipments farm equipments are provided as uh, farm equipments are provided at subsidized cost on hire theek hai kiraye pe diya jata hai farm equipments these are the centers theek hai inko kya bolte hain custom hiring centers so that's it and now let's come back to the question then so this question is regarding scst small and marginal farmers and women or north eastern states so in that case the correct answer will be what option c 5 lakh or 50% of the cost of drones okay and this 5 lakh rupees guys is maximum all right do remember this so i hope this question is clear moving ahead to question number 3 which of the following agencies is the nodal agency for operating national open access registry now what is this by the way national open एक्सेस रजिस्ट्री रिमेंबर इट हैज बीन लॉन्च बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ पावर हेडेड बाय आर के सिंह तो इसकी बात कर लेते तो नेशनल ओपन एक्सेस रजिस्ट्री हैज बीन लॉन्च बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ पावर व्हाट इज़ द पर्पस दिस इज फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ शॉर्ट टर्म ओपन एक्सेस एप्लीकेशन शॉर्ट टर्म ओपन एक्सेस का मतलब क्या होता है देखो जब इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ट्रांसमिट होती है तो दैट इज जनरली फॉर द मीडियम मीडियम टर्म एक्सेस और लॉन्ग टर्म एक्सेस मतलब जो इस ऐसे लोगों को दी जाती है ये ऐसे में कस्टमर्स को दी जाती है विच आर विच आर इन रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ दैट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी फॉर लॉन्ग टर्म और मीडियम टर्म ठीक है लेकिन जो सरप्लस में बच जाता है ठीक है द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी विच रिमेन्स इन सरप्लस इज प्रोवाइडेड टू अदर कस्टमर्स हु वांट दैट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी फॉर अ शॉर्ट टर्म पीरियड ठीक है दिस इज नोन एज वॉट शॉर्ट टर्म ओपन एक्सेस तो फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ शॉर्ट टर्म ओपन एक्सेस एप्लीकेशन देर बाय ऑटोमेटिंग द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ दिस एक्सेस इन इंटरस्टेट ट्रांसमिशन सिस्टम ठीक है बेसिकली बेसिकली सिंपल इन सिंपल वर्ड्स में आपको बताऊं तो टू सिंप्लीफाई द प्रोसेस ऑफ शॉर्ट टर्म ओपन एक्सेस सिस्टम दैट्स इट दैट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ लॉन्चिंग दिस रजिस्ट्री राइट एंड रिमेंबर द नोडल एजेंसी फॉर ऑपरेटिंग दिस रजिस्ट्री इज द नेशनल लोड डिस्पैच सेंटर नेशनल लोड डिस्पैच सेंटर व्हिच वर्क्स अंडर पावर सिस्टम ऑपरेशन कॉर्पोरेशन लिमिटेड ठीक है तो बस इसमें इतना ही है इससे ज्यादा पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं है जस्ट रिमेंबर इट वाज इट हैज बीन लॉन्च बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ पावर टू सिंप्लीफाई द प्रोसेस ऑफ शॉर्ट टर्म ओपन एक्सेस एंड नेशनल लोड डिस्पैच सेंटर इज द नोडल एजेंसी टू ऑपरेट दिस ऑल राइट दैट्स इट सो नाउ लेट्स कम बैक टू द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज रिगार्डिंग द नोडल एजेंसी सो दैट्स नेशनल लोड डिस्पैच सेंटर ऑप्शन सी विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर मूविंग अहेड टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर दिस इज वेरी डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर there is no need to go into the details just remember because this is a question based on mou and so many times i have told you this that in the question of mou you just have to remember the organizations or the countries or the states between which this mou is signed and the objective that's it so this question is also based on mou center for development of telematics has signed an mou with dash uh with the objective of working together in the diverse areas of telecom and ict to boost the indigenous technological design and development so objective is given 
one organization is given which is center for development of telematics you have to identify the name of this other organization with which this mu has been signed so remember this organization is cdac option a will be the correct answer center for development of advanced computing all right and the last question for today which of the following forces very direct question again which of the following forces had launched operation satark to check the transportation of illegal tobacco products now remember this operation was launched in the month of april in the month of april from 5th of april to 30th of april but the question is why we are discussing it now because government uh, through ministry of railways has released the data that kitna sara illegal tobacco lone baramad kiya that data is not important just remember that operation satark operation satark was launched by railway protection force option c will be the correct answer which of course was under the ministry of railways which is headed by mr ashwini vaishnav all right guys so that's it for the session if you want to have the pdf of this session with marked answers uh, you can join the telegram channel the link for which is provided in the description and i will see you in the next session on friday goodbye take care and god bless